So we have here formerly Jorge, now George Ventura. And uh, George, I want to give you a shout out. When I was in Lancaster, I stopped by your family home when you weren't there and uploaded our San Bernardino video. Got to meet your bro. Beautiful house. Palm though, bro. 661. That's where uh, Afro Man's from because I got mm-hmm. high. <laughs> it's only our, uh, rec- rec- reclaiming a fame in a six six one right now. It's an old, uh, it's an old town now in LA. I mean, it's been around forever. You know, Dude, yeah. G- George, how's the Mexican shit going? It's <laughs> is that the question? Jorge Ventura TV, as as used to say, right? I guess it's George Ventura TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jorge Ventura TV. Um, we're now heading into election, man. Crossings are down. Mm-hmm. Border crossings. Border crossings are down. So it seems like Biden and Harris wanted to get a get a handle on it before November. Mm-hmm. Um. So things are getting interesting, man. I'll be headed to Tijuana probably like the next month. We'll be doing a new report down Real there. quick, tell our fans what you do so they're, they're not confused as to why this guy's – why Danny asked that ridiculous question. What's up with the Mexican bullshit, huh? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so I'm a border reporter. Um, first started off with the Black Lives Matter riots, covered all that 2020. Then as soon as 2021 started, border became hot. Been covering it ever since. Then I met Danny and Leo. Mm-hmm. I believe 2022, we met in Eagle Pass – Yes. And then yeah. after that, we got to collab on a couple border videos. The Yuma one is like my my favorite. My favorite um, too. Because yeah. that one was like a hot spot in the middle of the night. Yuma's dope. Yeah, yeah. We got the, to hit that. This last one we did with the the famous cock show border agent. Oh well, well, George, you know, he might have been around for that video. We're not going to link him to that video explicitly, but we should probably talk updates on that. Yeah, what's going on with the border or the updates with the guy? Well, yeah. The not investigation s- that we're a, par- we're a part of? Yes. So, so annoying, man. So, George, you might or might not be familiar with a Border Patrol agent who pulled out his massive penis in Hakumba <laughs> Hot Springs. Just to make sure everybody understands, it ha- he had a picture of it with a tape measure around it. It was yep. seven inches. I yep, seven around. inches around. around. And I... Oh. I have to like, so this is what happened. First of all, we saw articles all over the place about an investigation going on on this guy, yeah. which I felt bad about because I blurred his face. I honestly thought blurring his face was going to spare him his job as if there's like a bunch yeah. of 400 pounds, six foot seven guys yeah. with huge cocks <laughs> working at Hakumba. Yeah it, it, yeah, it was like it was an odd job from James Bond. Just like a, he looks like a villain from a James Bond movie. Yeah. yeah. D- very easy to pick out. Like, even if his face is blurred, it's not exactly going to be uh, uh, a tall task for somebody who's a senior agent to pick him out. Yeah. And but then we started getting calls, George. Oh, yeah. From the San Diego DA. Okay, so this is what happened first, bro, is mm-hmm. you guys did the video. Yeah. Within a week of the video, one of my reporter friends basically links it to me. He says, hey, man, ch- check this out. And it was Washington <laughs> no. Examiner had the story first. They were saying that there was a federal investigation. For, first of all, he was already let go yeah. in the statement, but then they had another federal investigation. And obviously, they put Danny Mullen and then Holly Day. Yeah. And then I was like, <laughs> of course. I mean. What do you think <laughs> happened? So- We'll get to the criminal yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. They this, tried to get us to press criminal charges, which of course we would fucking okay, never see, I would know do. You guys got calls, or anything. oh yeah, yeah, we both got calls. So that it's basically like, hey, so did this guy show you his penis against your will, or like, no, man? I was like, no, no, it was. <laughs> I didn't feel uncomfortable. Yeah, no, it wasn't a big deal. Thank you, bye. And then they've been calling. They've called. They've left three more messages on my, and I haven't answered. I'm just not going to talk to them. Yeah, about this. I the San Diego DA leave us alone. You know what? I don't yeah. even. I don't even. I honestly don't even remember if he showed us his penis. That, I can't recall. Wait a second. Me neither. You know, I wasn't there, so it, I wouldn't. Yeah, know. you weren't there. You know, he might have had a small penis, Leo. Yeah, and I think we were just following the rules of improv. I think just like he said something about a penis and we just kind of went along with it and it was yeah. an act out. Yeah. Like, I mean, I either was Dude, that's a wild laughing story. at how small mm-hmm. it was mm-hmm. or I was laughing because, um, you know, maybe I thought about an old Marx Brothers bit from back in the day. But Danny, within like two months, you like hit the news because you had the one – Blaze TV covered you guys in San Francisco. You guys saved some, pr- some yeah. person with fentanyl. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, two the, months the, later. the joke about Boom. you, you had to make the joke about me face fucking her, though, when she was passed out, which kind of, oh, you yeah, know, yeah, I, yeah. I was trying to be a hero for one time yeah. in front of the Batch fans, but I got a lot of hate. Yeah, yeah. Because I, think, I, I was, I said, it's a sex offender joke, you know? Yeah, it's crazy that helping somebody stay alive, that is undone if you make a distasteful joke afterwards. Yeah. So we didn't get the press, we didn't get the fucking. Jimmy Fallon couch 
because you made that joke. That is such a, like a revealing situation about our times mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter how evil or good the acts you do actually are. All that matters is what team you're on or what you say. Yeah. Like that's all that matters. Yeah. Big pharma, the, the, the military industrial complex, as long as they have a rainbow pride flag up in their fucking hiring page, their DEI page on their website, they're okay. Yeah, no it's the guy on do. Twitter who's being a little problematic who's the piece of shit. <laughs> It's wild, man. Danny, do you think it's possible to hunt down this ex-border patrol agent, throw him on the pod one time? Oh, my God. get his perspective. I mean, it, only if he's I just... think my, one of my favorite things about that moment, there was no alcohol or drugs involved. No. You know, most, yeah. you know in these situations, but no, yeah. it was just Holly Day. I want to... Yeah, that pussy yeah. is a drug, my man. I want to... I wish I had Danny Duncan money so I could oh, pay yeah. him for his big cock. You know, I wish I, I wish I could give him severance that the Border Patrol probably didn't. And it's just like it's big cockerance instead of severance. I think one day he's going to talk about that day like it, he thought it was the worst day in his life when he got fired for showing his cock. But I really it's probably going to put his life in a new direction. And he's going to look at that day as one of the best days of his life. I hope so. I'm glad I blurred his face because nobody will recognize him in the street. So at least he won't feel any shame. I wish that guy still oh, had his job. I feel bad, man. And he's married. Yeah, Dude, that was the best part, too. Maybe but, see, maybe he had a bad marriage and we got him out of the bad marriage because he didn't have the courage to end it himself. Well, maybe. I, I, th I have a theory that he if he just didn't tell his wife about it and he's just like, man, I fucking quit. You know, I don't want to work there anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, what is she going to do? You think she'll know immediately if she sees the headline? You think she's on Yahoo News and she's like, hmm, no. I don't think so. No, no. she was like, no oh, name. did you see this? He'd be like, yeah, oh, whoa, that's crazy. It depends on his acting job. If he like completely caves. Then he's, you know, he might have a habit of pulling his dick out all the time. Maybe right. you guys might have saved him on the criminal part then, with no charges. If you guys uh, don't want to press charges, because it's like yeah, we, we all refuse to press charges, Holly Day included. Oh, Holly too. That's yeah, funny. we all, dude. What what are you talking about? We it was hilarious. There's no criminal charges. There should not be any. The word criminal shouldn't enter into this. Do, no. you, do you believe that maybe there should be some award given to him, though, instead? I think maybe. I honestly think that Adam 22 should recruit him to the no jumper plug talk porn circuit. That's what that's. Yeah. Because he gave you guys good content, dude. I hate for the guy to lose his job and then it it's, sucks. it's like a one week suspension type thing. I mean, we told him we were going to blur his face and he seemed like he was just completely OK with everything. Yeah. I mean, he saw the camera and he was just yeah. like, oh, put, put the camera that way for a second. Yeah. There it is. You ran deep into the into the desert there. Into the sagebrush. Yeah. <laughs> I took off, man. I was so happy. Dude, me and Leo hit the floor. Dude. They were dying. Yeah. One of the funniest moments of my life, oh, probably. Yeah. It was I literally great. had to thank Holly after. I was like, Holly, thank you. Yeah. This was like middle school Call of Duty in the chat laugh. Just thank you. Yeah. Me. It was a that. big, big laugh. That was the first video we filmed this year. Oh, that's right. It was like the first week of January. Yeah. Really. And we were bummed because... People might remember there was a little border video we posted after the big cock guy video, and it was of the December trip we made oh, also on George's right. guidance. And that was when there was just a, a mass of, of migrants. But that video doesn't have very many views. And when we went in January, I was so bummed because there were literally like a handful of Vietnamese people compared to hundreds and hundreds of Chinese migrants a month before. But then... Our boy, our boy putted over the hill in that van and it, it, uh, well, it didn't really change our lives forever, but it might've changed his hopefully for the better. Like you said, Leo, I think for the better hundred percent, I hope dude, he's going to find his truth. It's kind of like if he was following his heart, like it says in the alchemist, like mm -hmm. I always tell people, he was following his heart that day and he knew that showing Holly day his penis mm -hmm. was the way that it was supposed to be. And how bad can your life be when you got that big of a penis? Seriously, he he's got uh, he's got some kind of yeah. They should they should put something on like his his license or something. Yeah, they should. His driver's license should have a little marking. Like he you know he doesn't get any you know they should give him a little harder time in jail and stuff you know because he's <laughs> got a big penis. If you're a one percenter in terms of penis, yeah. you should have some sort of identification that yes. just opens doors for you. Yeah. I think, Fez, what do you think about that? Should they just put maybe something, a star on their chest, Fez? They should get a tattoo done, yeah, for sure. What about like a, Jew, like a Jewish star on their chest? <laughs> not a Jewish star. Why not? Think. No, because. Have they ever done that before? I don't maybe. think they've ever. Have they ever done that before, Dan? Is he the kid at Evergreen College now? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, 
<laughs> yeah, I uh, Fez, I, I think it should just be more on the nose, Leo. I think it should just be a salami, maybe a rocket ship, a rocket Shut ship. The fuck? <laughs> I, there's there's another one of Fez's random insertions. Yeah. I think it should be a rocket ship. I think that should be the big cock badge of honor uh, over the chest or? on your ID on a chest. Yeah, you should. You know how uh, presidential candidates have the flag pin on their lapel. You should have to always have you should always have to display your rocket pin. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're. I, we're going to set them up for some hate, but also, God damn it, there's going to be some interest from the ladies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Are we going to use fake ones? Are we going to get fake ones? Is there a, is there a crime for using fake ones? There it should be, be yeah, $10,000 fine and a year oh, in prison oh, if oh you my. have a fake oh, a contraband oh. rocket ship. To- and are there officers just specifically – their, their, their job is to check just to check if it if it matches up or? there is going to be a gestapo <laughs> once like i'm in charge type, dude there's going to be a, a fake spaceship <laughs> gestapo to make sure that nobody's representing their penis is bigger than it is oh my God. and you know they might dude i miss i miss the days when like little penises were cool dude like roman statues it yeah. was all about having the little cocks yeah. i know they t- fucking tell me about it dude <laughs> now jorge yeah, what were you know you've kind of uh you've you've shared with us a lot of stuff about like the border or just uh you know your own knowledge of you know you have a pretty good set of friends too that know what's up what's coming up that maybe we should be wary of or what are you worried about as far as like with the border right now and the cartels and all that so one of like the big concerns right now is like a lot of countries they don't show they don't share a database with the U.S. So what I mean by that is like right now we have the issue where we're still getting a bunch of Venezuelans, and then obviously we just had like Maduro's election, so we're gonna get that next wave. So the issue that we're having now is if you're a border patrol agent, let's say you counter Venezuelan, you know, let's say you run their name or whatever identification they give you, we don't have a database to see if they committed crimes in Venezuela. We don't know who they are. How is that later, okay? The, then what we're seeing, dude, is like. That that individual is getting released within like three days into the U.S. And then like, you know, two, three months go by and then like they like committed crimes. So like the big one that kind of hit like national news is like the the college student from Georgia. She was killed from a Venezuelan who like came illegally through El Paso, found out that he had ties to that to that Venezuelan getting trained to train that Iowa. So we're getting a lot of that. Um, my colleague, Ali Bradley, she just reported that like a Palestinian just came in through, I believe, San Diego, and he was flagged as like a potential terrorist. And like, we'd like, you know, yeah. we're encountering him on the border. So that's like the big, big deal right now. And, like, and then obviously, Danny, you guys were with, where you guys went to Jakuma where we got a bunch of Chinese. So like, mm-hmm. obviously China doesn't, doesn't share a d- database with the US. And then we have all these individuals where, you know, we yeah. really don't know who they are. Is I'm thinking about when I run for local office on top of the, the rocket ship pan idea, I also want to immediately, no questions asked, deport all Nicaraguans. Are you with me, George? Like, uh, wait, oh, uh, okay, are they Ameri- is they're American citizens Fuck also? You. Like, just even American citizen Nicaraguans? Yes. Deport them. Why do you See, have I'm a- I'm Salvadoran, so you guys are kind of my rivals, so yeah. Let's get yeah, let's get them out of here. <laughs> Fez, why do you have an accent? Haven't you been here <laughs> long I, enough I, to get I know it? scientifically it's, it's because if you come after 11, if you speak one language till 11 and then you learn a new language, you'll never be able to kill the accent. Uh, and Fez, you came Fez, over, what, 14? No. No. A guy tried to abduct him on a motorcycle in Nicaragua. 